Oh, it's a big day here. Uh, I think I found words to express the goal. What am I working on that I really need help with that'll change the world? As a preface, we absolutely must understand that CAD is code. Code is software. This 3D model is software. This part is fully defined by software. These are two functional bearings and the difference between these two parts, it is three floating point values, just three. I demonstrated a design that works and that means, so now you have one design that works and if you can change a few variables, you have access to an infinite number of designs that work. It's free, it's open source. Now that has to be repeated for other fundamental components that will make up every machine. But I don't wanna just build a million designs. I want to create a system of designs with which you can build any machine. But let's be completely honest and true to engineering. So I'm thinking, is this even remotely possible? And I can't stop thinking about this because I've basically been doing that for the last five years. And last night I was chatting with Potato Master on Discord and he offered help like so many other people have offered so far. I've got to define, constrain the problem. But then I was thinking about software. What is like a software language, C++ for example. Um, it's a system to enable people to produce any functions that they want. Can you really do that? Well, here's a sentence I've never heard before. You can't code that with C++. So like, yeah, sure, you can't solve any possible problem, but you have a very nice defined set of problems that can be solved and it's approachable. But we're talking about mechanical things. That's not been done yet. Is it even approachable to say, oh yeah, here's a comprehensive list of everything mechanically you could want to make? Um, maybe, yeah. I mean, if you can title a book, Mechanical Engineering Design, and you can organize that book into topics and respectable engineers will say that, yeah, the book is finished, you finished that book. So then I'm in here checking through a finite number of chapters and I'm seeing, okay, screws and fasteners. Is there a way that whatever it is that makes this thing complete could also be used to make this collection of parts complete over here? Bonding and permanent joints. Hmm, this is the same exact stuff I've already been doing. So the challenge for me is to define the way I have arranged priorities to make these examples and sort of index them. And I can do that because the decisions on all these parts already was quite methodical. To describe that a little, I'll need a part two and let me know if all this made sense so far.